Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with me. Guess what we're doing today? Today, we're making camera straps because we want you to have something fashionable and fun, not to mention something to be comfortable around the neck and not, you know, have to have like an itchy, sweaty, you know, nylon strap on your neck. So that's what we're doing today. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to create a pocket so you don't have to worry about this going in your pants. It can go right on the end of your camera strap and not even fall out. So, shooting away. Let's get started. All right, so, all right everybody. The first thing we wanna do is you want to get an accurate measurement of your strap. Okay, every camera strap is going to be a different size. And this is something that you can actually decide to, you know, give an inch or two or not. Okay, it's all a personal preference. But I'm going to show you how I came up with just a general idea for what size strap that I wanted to use. All right, so the first thing you actually want to do is get your strap. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave this on here for right now on my camera. Um, but what you wanna do is just measure your strap. Choose any point on your camera, okay? Any point at all. And all you need to do is go along, measure your strap, okay? Up to the point where you wanna stop, okay? I will say that, you know, 36 inches is a good idea, 36 inches. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, you can do what you would want to. I'm just going to show you the form and how to do that. Okay, let's get started. Let's go ahead and prepare this, um, this um, fabric for the interface. What we want to do is we want to fold it over um, about a quarter of an inch. Okay, remember, it depends on how long you did your strap, um, depending on the measurements. Okay, but we want to get those ends folded so that we have a nice, pretty end. Because as you can see, I have a selvage right there. Okay, so fold it under. Not under, fold it over. And then I'm going to flatten it out. Go ahead and um, put a top stitch real quick, okay, right across the fabric. I'm going to um, just make mine. I'm just lining up my uh, pretty edge of the fabric. I'm just lining it up with my presser foot. You can do quarter of an inch. You can do anything you'd like. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to do the other side while we're at it. do is we want to get that fusible fleece okay and put it so that your glue side um, is touching down we want it to go in the middle of this fabric in between those ends so you see this all right we're just going to fit it right in there I'm gonna start with this side because I'm gonna cut mine a little bit shorter <laughs> okay what I did here was I actually made it a little bit thinner. I mean, a little bit, um, a little bit more narrower than the width of the fabric, so that when we fold it over, we don't get that bulkiness in the seams. I'm gonna flip this over. We want to uh, adhere it to the fabric. I was just letting it rest there for a few seconds. Okay. 
good. And I'm just going to check real quick and make sure that um, make sure that it's still lying in the middle of my fabric um, underneath. Okay, I'm going to cut this just a tad bit shorter, um, a tad bit smaller. Alright, everything is eyeballing. See, that's good eyeballing. <laughs> Okay, we are ready for our next step at this point. I'm just giving it a little bit of extra love. All right, perfect. Well, nothing's perfect, but okay. Do the same thing, get your, um, get your interface for the pocket. And what we wanna do is put it right in, right onto one edge. I'm going to fold over the pocket so that um, we close this up. I'm just going to sew down um, about a quarter of an inch, closing up that raw edge. Okay, I'm going to turn this right side out. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and flatten that out. Okay, that's good enough for me. Works for me. I'm going to give it a top stitch right across the top so it has a finished seam. And now we are going to get it on our pocket. So go ahead and place it um, towards the end of one of the sides. It doesn't matter which side. Um, the idea is that it is placed at the end of your um, at the end of your strap. So you can decide where you want it. Okay, and what we want to do is we want, I'll put a pin here. <laughs> Sometimes, guys, when I'm sewing sideways for the camera, it's difficult for me to think. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a professional. We're going to sew right across the bottom of this um, so that we can create the bottom of the pocket. Now, I'm going really close to the edge. I'll show you in just a moment. See how I'm, I went right at the edge? This is that top part of the pocket where the cap is going to slide in. Um, and that top stitch makes it look good. But I want it to go super close to the edge. Adhering the pocket on the bottom. Did I backstitch? <laughs> okay. <laughs> backstitch. Alright. Now... Um, you could choose, you could personalize it by, you know, putting a monogram on it if you want to. It's not necessary, but, um, or you can use contrasting fabric. So there's that pocket there. Okay. We're going to leave that. We're going to fold this up here. And what we're going to do is pin, um, we're going to pin down the sides all the way down along the edges. I'm just flattening that. But we're going to pin all the way down the edges so that we can prep to sew, um, to sew this like a tube. Okay. Hmm. Just lining up those raw edges.
All right. Tediousness, tediousness, okay. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, right? I guess. <laughs> all right. So all the way down, you can um, leave about a quarter of an inch seam allowance going all the way down to the edge of your tube. I'm just going to cut my loose threads, my stragglies. <laughs> okay. Be sure you backstitch. Okay, pins are coming out. If you don't put if you don't put interface all the way um, to your raw edges, it helps reduce the bulk. So, if it's something that, like, this is going around the neck, so I want to make sure that there's no bulk around the neck, because otherwise it'll be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I don't really mind too much when it comes to sewing bags about um, using the entire... Um, you know, putting interface up to the raw edges because for me, it's quicker to sew if my interface and fabric are the same measurements as opposed to having to cut um, interface a different size. <laughs> it takes a lot more time for that. Okay, back stitching. Believe it or not, you're almost done. Talk about quick gifts. All right, I'm just going to cut my stragglies here, and then we're going to flip this right side out. So you could either use a safety pin or you can use a loop turner. Okay. Um, if you do not have a loop, ton loop turner, <laughs> then go ahead and grab yourself a regular safety pin. Um, however you would turn a tube. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this inside. Um, now, I'll, I'll tell you my trick. It doesn't always work. We'll see right now when I'm getting ready to do it. I like to leave the loop turner pointed up. Um, that hook pointed up. If it's pointed down, then sometimes the fabric gets caught and it becomes a fight. <laughs> so... I'm gonna leave it up when I grab that fabric. Uh, let's see. It's a long tube because remember we did um, rah, the whole length of the strap. So it's gonna be a little bunchy. <laughs> okay, I got the fat, I got, the, got it looped on. All right, here we go, I'm gonna pull. Okay, I want it to stay up, so I'm going to help it out. Usually, I just pull from my finger down here, but um, I'm helping it out so that I don't lose it along the way. <laughs> so that it stays pointed up. Okay. Okay. Taking my time so it doesn't come off. Yay, it stayed on, you see? <laughs> just pulling the tube right side out right we want to grab our iron for this um okay. let's just roll this with our fingers so that we can get it a little flat before we iron it to flatten. I'm all about the ironing. If you've watched my videos, you know that. Top stitching and ironing. Okay, so when you see this tube right now, um, let me just show you. I don't know if I can show you, but you see this? 
so we have a little bit of extra uh, well we still didn't do our top stitching yet but we have a little bit of extra here and that's going to be important because um the wider it is I don't know if you guys know this I did photography for nine years <laughs> at a theme park um but the wider it is it's going to help your neck relieve some of the stress from the weight from the camera on the neck so we're going to add our top stitching but we're going to have it a little bit thicker which is good for the neck okay all right yes i did i did photography for nine years that was my fun that was my fun get into the parks for free job <laughs> that was my kids playground too so <laughs> all right so i'm just putting that top stitch over i mean um what <laughs> we want to roll flatten this out so that we can um put the iron over it to put the um okay that looks good let me just see something super quickly where's my cap it's on the camera see let's see oh perfect okay Perfect, that's what we want. Okay, put that back on here. All right, let's flatten this out and get some top stitching on and finish up this project. Um, what's pretty cool, one, if you choose a fabric that you would like on both sides, it's a lot easier than having to cut two pieces. Otherwise, you know, you can cut the two pieces and, um, you know do it that way but um what's pretty cool about this um you can choose a print and the gentleman in your life so often we sew things for the women but the gentleman in your life might appreciate it as well if you have somebody that's a photographer so you see you'll have a back pocket you have a pocket on one side and a pocket on the other let's put top stitching Okay, on both sides, we're going to go um, about an eighth and an eighth of an inch from the edge. Okay, and put those final touches on. Mm -hmm. I'll start on this side. I mean, it doesn't matter. <sighs> yeah, so often. We sew for the ladies. This could also be a good idea for a guitar strap. <laughs> thought about that I've only ever done it as a camera strap um, but uh, guitar strap <laughs> Cutting stragglies. <sighs> look at this. You definitely want to put top stitching on the top because it makes it look so good when you're done. Okay. Let's see. Look at that. You definitely want to put the top stitching. And that's where your cap goes. So all you have to do at this point 
Okay, all you have to do at this point is use a safety pin. So you would actually take off your camera strap. Um, well, not, well, if it's for you, but <laughs> I'm not going to take it off right now. But you would take off your camera strap and you only need to take off one side of your camera. When you take off the one side of your camera, um, you know, from the triglides and things like that. So you would use, put a safety pin on the end of your strap here. Okay. Meaning on the side, obviously when it's empty and then just feed it through when you feed it through the tube. Okay. Then you'll have it just like this. Okay. And then you just have to put the strap back on, you know, but, um, Oh, gotta cut this straight away. Um, but yeah, so this would be a pretty cool gift for the gentleman in your life, for your son, grandson, someone. Okay, but yeah, guitar picks can go in there. I didn't think about that. So, but it can be a guitar strap as well. <laughs> so, I mean, anytime you can make something, you know, for uh, for multi-purpose is a good thing. So, all right, so that's it. I wish I can tell you guys stories about <laughs> when I was a photographer, but okay. But, um, but yeah, so that's it. And you know what? Guess what? You can take it off and wash it. It's washable, reusable as well, you know, and you know, if you're out in the summer heat or something, it's going to be an absolute awesome pleasure to have this around the neck. So, um, yeah, that's about all for now. So if you have questions, go ahead, put them down below and, um, I'll answer them, but otherwise, I'll see you back here for the next video. All right. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't done so already. <laughs> Bye guys. Guys, this is the sewing one. <laughs> I just looked and I'm like, oh. So what we're going to do real quick, <laughs> I'm going to um, cut <laughs> some glue, some, um, I'm just going to super quickly cut some that has the glue. Like, what was I doing with that one that I actually had, um, <laughs> that I had sewing for? from an old pile. <laughs>